Hey. Wow, you look amazing. I have to pick up more fusion makeup. Well, I kind of hoped it was more than just bronzer in a bottle. Oh, pretty cute, huh? Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Probably. What is it? Tell me I'm pregnant. It's not that I don't trust a home pregnancy test. I just want to know. Now, definitively, are we or aren't we? <laughs> I can understand that. Ryan was going to come, but he had something to do, and I couldn't wait, so he's going to meet me here. What's the hurry? I just want so badly for it to be true. Of course, I'm also terrified that it will be, but in a good way. Of course. <laughs> if I'm not pregnant, I don't know what to think. I've been doing all these bizarre things lately. It has to be hormones, don't you think? Well, let's check it out. Maybe we'll have good news for Ryan when he gets here. Come on. One on the left's gonna be a singer. <laughs> Those lungs. Or a dancer. <laughs> Check out that kick. So which one's yours? I'm sorry, I... It's okay. <sighs> I wasn't really paying attention. I know. They're hypnotic, aren't they? Yeah. You know, I remember when I first brought Bess home. I would just stand there for hours just watching her sleep. Or eat or play. It's like no child had ever done it better in the whole history of babies. She's a beautiful little girl. It's pretty awful what we did to you at the christening when we thought that Bess was really Miranda. I don't think that I could ever apologize for that. You know what, there's... What a nightmare. Really oh, my God, people trying to take your baby away from you? You know, it was a long time ago, Grant. I was changed. For me, too. What's it like? The mother thing? I mean, how, how do you know what to do? I'm really scared to screw this up. Are you... We're waiting to hear. I'm not sure if these butterflies in my stomach are excitement or a panic attack waiting to happen. Or a little me. Everybody gets scared. At... No, you don't <laughs> understand. Well, maybe you do. You live under the same roof as my mother. Right. Mary. I rest my case. I'm doomed. Hey, you don't have to have a great mother just to be one. I guess I pretty much lucked out in that department. No, no, no. Mother's already left her mark. Having a baby, it, it really does change you down to the core. You'll never, ever feel the same way about, about anything or anyone ever again. Do you know what it was like to believe in Santa? Or to see a magic trick and wonder how he pulled this rabbit out of thin air? Yeah, it was hard to believe in magic. The parental units loved to bring me crashing back to reality whenever they could. But I, I did the best I could to work around it. I had an amazing collection of unicorns, crystal, porcelain stuff. So see, you, said you believed. The kid's got to believe in something. <laughs> so having a kid is like believing in magic. It's kind of more like having... Like having magic believe in you. I mean, you look at yourself and you see these, these hands and these arms and this, this body that just, it's there to care and comfort and nurture. And it's like you know all of a sudden without a doubt that God exists. And then he's saying everything's gonna be okay. Really okay. That you're no longer that girl at the seventh grade dance that nobody would even talk to because you couldn't afford the right dress. Or the girl who could afford the right dress but thought she was good, too good to talk to anybody. <laughs> what am I doing? When I... Uh, when I had my baby, it was like... It was like a part of me filled up that I didn't even know was there. I guess it was the part that I reserved for dreams or, or magic or, or Santa Claus. And then I had this, this little person to show me that it was all real. What? I can't even count the ways for me to screw up being a mother. Seriously, Greenlee, I wouldn't even worry about it. You can't even compete. There's no way you'll be able to screw it up as badly as I have. You're so hard on yourself. You know what, really, I should be harder on myself. 
JR said that I was an unfit mother and he took Bess from me. What? I'm not even allowed to see her. Is that legal? Well, the way that JR set it up, yeah. There's okay. something you can do? I mean, I, everything I'm doing, I, I am doing for the sake of my child. Good for you. I, um, I should probably get going. It was, it's really good to see you, Greenlee. Good luck, you know? Yeah. You too, babe. Thanks. Couldn't wait, huh? You okay? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Mm. How was your visit with Ethan? It wasn't so good. He didn't take my offer. No makeup DNA test? No, and he wouldn't take any money for pain or suffering either. Will you please explain him to me? Mm. Maybe later. So, um, are we or aren't we? <clears throat> I don't know yet. But I'm glad you're here first. Mrs. Lavery? Anita Warner had to go out for a few minutes. She asked me to give you this if it came back early. Thanks. Are you nervous? I'm really nervous. Like somebody that knows better thinks that this isn't our time. Really? Yeah, hey, we, we barely even got started here. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just think of today like a dress rehearsal, okay? Greenlee, we're gonna have like a, a passel of kids. How many kids are in a passel anyway? Look, <clears throat> we're gonna get this right, okay? I no, promise I know, you. I know, I know, I know, I know, and I'm okay with it. I just. You just what? If I'm not pregnant, what's wrong with me? Why have I been acting so weird? Well, we're gonna find a specialist right now and we're gonna figure that out, okay? Hey. Uh... Oh. We're good. So then you got the sleeping pills? Yeah. Ace's nanny's not gonna know what hit her. Good. So, um, what did your granddad say about our little makeout session? Uh, uh, he bought it. Great. Great. So, um, I guess our bluff's working. Uh, yeah, like, like a charm. Uh oh. It's <laughs> more witnesses. Showtime. You know, it's really okay. I just overreacted. I don't need to see any more doctors. Are you sure? I guarantee you that it's just a combination of something, too much B12, something, something silly like that. All right, I'll be right over there. I'll send him right away. Okay. I got to go back to the office. Can not wait? No, I, got, I have to go sign some papers and notarize. I'm sorry. A captain of industry? <laughs> you salute when you say that. <laughs> Look, so I want you to do. I want you to go back. I want you to go back and relax. And this afternoon, we're going to work on changing your condition from unpregnant to very pregnant. You call that work? <laughs> Great night. I'm. I'm so sorry. Is something wrong? You're not. Right. I'm not. 
I know it's not the result you were looking for. It'll be fine. Think about how much worse it would have been if I'd gotten pregnant with your husband's baby. What does that mean? When Kendall paid Bobby to seduce me, he blew it. <laughs>